Hello everybody, here our paper on the Hamamet Basin offshore Tunisia in which we are going to explain um, the ideas behind a new play concept uh, which generates considerable uh, prospectivity in this area. I hope you will enjoy it. Here the location of uh, the Hamamet Basin in uh, offshore Tunisia. Um, we see the outline of the asset, which was analyzed, the location of the Huta prospect, and uh, the situation in the central Mediterranean area. So in order to explain our uh, new play concept, uh, we are going through the different elements of the petroleum system. The source rock, the reservoir rocks and the seals, and the processes that have uh, occurred in time, maturation of hydrocarbons, migration and the trapping. On the right side you see in uh, green which are uh, elements that are basically well known in the area and in red a few elements that we will introduce as uh, new concepts. First of all, the recognition of the complex multi-stage tectonic stratigraphic history of this area. The first episode, it was part of the North African border uh, uh, with uh, extension, transtension, the deposition of the Mesozoic Eocene series and the source rocks. In a second episode, it became part of a alpine foreland area and successively part of uh, the alpine chain itself, suffering deformation uh, and uh, maturation and trapping of the hydrocarbons. Here the same uh, episodes uh, overlaying on the tectonic stratigraphic chart of the area. First episode of Mesozoic extension and rifting up till the Eocene, second episode when the area became progressively part of the alpine chain in which we uh, separate in uh, one, two and three uh, the different uh, uh, packages separated by the main regional uh, unconformities. Here to illustrate the, the structure of the area, uh, a regional composite seismic uh, section uh, more or less on a, along a north-south uh, transect green boxes producing fields, yellow <coughs> prospect um, and basically we see the base, the part, the series on the base of the section which is the Mesozoic up till uh, um, uh, Paleogene times uh, inside there is Eocene unconformity then the second uh, series which are the series deposited upon the Langian unconformity when we are part of the foreland of the alpine chain and the third series deposited in uh, plio pleistocene times uh, approximate to the alpine chain and the successive inversion of parts of the series and the generation of the prospect. Let's first take a look at uh, the deposition and the configuration of the source rocks. Uh, we are part of the northern border of the African plate, Mesozoic up to uh, Paleogene, and the source rock was deposited in a series of rifted basins. On the right side we see uh, two of these source rocks, which have been cut by the Eocene unconformity and successively by the Langian unconformity, when the area became part of the foreland of the Alpine chain. What we see is basically that the source rock uh, show a subcrop uh, along the major unconformities. And here we see an outcropping uh, analog example of uh, one of the main uh, source rocks, uh, the Fahdain formation. Then let's take a look at the uh, reservoir rock. It is the uh, Umduil group. A series of uh, sandstones and uh, shales which have been deposited when the area was part of the Miocene 4 deep of the Alpine chain. Uh, 
different uh, stratigraphic relationships have been uh, recognized, and we are talking about the fluviatile up to shallow marine sandstone shale uh, series. And again, an outcrop uh, example of the sandstones of the Umduil group. An important characteristic of the sandstones of the um, Umduil group is their high heterogeneity in space. As you can see from this map in the Gulf of Hammamet, we have a series of highs which show condensed series and a series of low areas with uh, uh, thick deposits. And um, one of the things we must uh, say take into consideration is the fact that the classical uh, fields producing from the sandstones in the Gulf of Hammamet are all located on the high areas. Therefore, one of the characteristics of the play concept we are uh, presenting is uh, related to these uh, thickness variations. Before the formation of the traps, basically we see a, uh, a thicker and a thinner uh, Miocene series, and on the right side in the green boxes, the uh, present uh, producing fields uh, located generally on the high areas where the series are thinner. Uh, successively, uh, due to structural inversion along the borders of the highs, we can observe uh, larger traps in the thicker series with respect to the smaller traps in the producing fields. So let's go stepwise through the evolution of the area. Here we see uh, uh, the situation at the time of the generation of the Langian unconformity. Uh, we see the Mesozoic series and also the source rock uh, deformed and uh, truncated along the unconformity, which generated a series of windows. And we see the uh, source rock at this stage, not anymore in the hydrocarbon generation window. Uh, furthermore, amount of erosion and indicated the future Miocene four deep uh, in which the Umduil, specifically the Bursa formation, will be deposited. Next step, we see the situation more or less at Messenian times. We see the Jirba trough have been uh, uh, generated with the deposition of thick uh, Miocene series. And on the left, we see the actually the arrival of the uh, Miocene and successive Pliocene chain. Uh, and the source rocks now inside the hydrocarbon generating window. Last step is the situation uh, at present. Plyopleistocene series have been deposited. Inversion of the structures along the margins of the trough have occurred. And we can see basically uh, Hydrocarbon migration occurred along the windows in the Langian unconformity to reach the uh, uh, traps of the inverted structures and also the hydrocarbon producing fields at present, of course. Here we see in a map view of the area how the uh, migration of the hydrocarbons occurred from the Jirba trough, the windows in the Langian unconformity, uh, along the, the sandstones. And we can see how the hydrocarbons could reach prospects and producing fields. And on the other side also how this model predicts why certain uh, structures are dry simply because using this mechanism hydrocarbons could not reach these areas. And here in the same way in a more regional map how uh, 
we can see the relationship between producing fields and what we may call hydrogen carbon access windows uh, along the Lundian unconformity. So here we see a, a seismic section through the Huta prospect, which uh, displays all the characteristics of our new play. And uh, we see um, uh, the, the, the mapped horizons, uh, Birsa, Suaf, which are part of the Umduil group. And uh, the uh, structure is clearly defined as a four-way dip closure with a stacked pace in the different levels of the Umduil group. So here we have uh, a depth map of the main reservoir, the Birsa sandstone. Uh, indicated is uh, a hypothetical well planned and in yellow the seismic uh, cross section we saw. On the right side uh, is the Mamura field um, and on the left side we see the different structures that define the inverted uh, series of the Umduil group. Uh, we see indicated on the map low, mid and high cases of uh, closures as used in the calculation of the, of the resources. And here the depth uh, section which uh, illustrates the concept uh, uh, described before. On the right side the field, on the left side the prospect, inverted series, um, stacked pay in a different uh, sandstone levels and indicated are different levels of closures for each of the single uh, uh, pay zones. So a quick uh, wrap up of the uh, conclusions of this presentation. So we defined a new play concept for the Miocene reservoirs in the Gulf of Amamet. Uh, aspects of this uh, play concepts are the thicker reservoir layers, the migration model for the Fahdain source rock along windows in the Langian uh, unconformity and the trapping mechanism uh, invoking the inversion tectonics that have uh, affected the area. One example is presented, the Huta prospects. We saw some uh, the stacked pay and uh, the different uh, methodologies of how the uh, res resources were calculated. And we strongly believe that this uh, New play concept opens up uh, new exploration potential for the Gulf of Amamet. Thank you for your attention and um, of course our gratitude goes to Atenoc, ADIPEC, SPE, DMG Events for the great support and ETAP for the kind permission to publish this paper. Hope to see you next time.